Now this weekend, local students from across the area are invited to learn more about college and university options right here in the Buckeye State. Tomorrow, members from Ohio's HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities will host an informational event at Mott Library. Now joining us with more details is Bob Savage of Toledo tomorrow. So good morning to you, Bob. Uh, let's talk about this event tomorrow. Uh, what are you all expecting to provide for the students that stop by? Sure. Thanks, Stephen. Um, so what is being provided tomorrow is another opportunity and just exposure to something else that students might do after high school. Uh, that is our organization, Toledo Tomorrow. That is what we are all about, is providing opportunities to students, uh, partnered here with the library. This will be held at the Mott Branch Library from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. tomorrow. Um, but we have a nice opportunity here for, for students uh, that uh, representatives uh, from Central State University and Wilberforce University will be on hand. Uh, both to make uh, short presentations as well as to provide uh, uh, extensive question and answer time uh, and, and time to interact with those folks one on one. This is open to all families and all students in, in our community. Um, you know, and that's and, and part of this is just exposing also more students and families to to college. Um, we. Uh, there, there are lots of opportunities in our community and college is not for everybody. There are some great uh, career tech opportunities. We have uh, most of our public schools, TPS potentially leading the way, have great career tech uh, pathways and provide opportunities. But, um, you know, th this, is, this is a chance for our, our community to get to see some of those opportunities without having to, to leave the community and just a way to get, gain better exposure here. So, Bob, talk a bit about uh, why it's so important to highlight HBCUs and show students that uh, that's an option besides maybe going to a University of Toledo or even uh, Ohio State University. Sure. So there obviously are some other outstanding colleges right within the Toledo metro area here, let alone to, uh, around the state. Um, but, you know, HBCUs, as Stephen, as you well know, have, have been around for, for a long time. As a matter of fact, Wilberforce University here in Ohio is the nation's first private HBCU. Uh, Central State is the state's uh, is the state college that is in the HBCU, and it is is another path that some some of our students want to pursue. We actually have seen more students going to HBCUs and more interest in the, in the last several years. Some of our nation's great greatest leaders, uh, some of our region's greatest leaders, and and also some of our uh, some of our best television journalists and news anchors have gone to HBCUs. Um, and we're really just here to pro provide exposure and let the kids look at different things that, that they, they might want to do. Um, in, intelligence is well dispersed all throughout our community and all throughout our nation, but unfortunately, opportunity is not. Um, and this is another way to, to provide an, an opportunity and provide exposure to, to our children here. Well, Bob, we thank you so much uh, for what you're doing, exposing students to HBCUs. We really appreciate your time this morning. Sure, no problem, Stephen. We are glad to do it. And we, we're glad to have the representatives here tomorrow and certainly the, the library's partnership on this. Actually, tomorrow from Central State, Amanda McCombs, who is the Northwest Ohio Admissions Specialist. So she would be the one that local folks and anybody from Northwest Ohio would interact with. And actually, Wilberforce University is sending jo Mrs. Jocelyn McNeely, who is their director of missions, will be here live tomorrow at the Mott Branch Library. Well, Bob, thanks so much. And just FYI, I'm a proud HBCU grad. Shout out to the class of 2012 of Tougaloo College in Jackson, Tougaloo. Mississippi. Tougaloo. I, I, I knew you were. Another great example of, of the outcome. Well, thanks so much, Bob. Tim, back to you.